Hey, it's Steven here from Marketplace Superheroes. And in this video, myself and our research expert, Ali from Marketplace Superheroes, are going to share with you the ultimate guide to Amazon product research. Now, please stay to the end of this video. Why? Because we actually share, first of all, a huge amount of information about product research over the shoulder, but then we actually show you two products that we would say are perfect marketplace superhero style products that you can take a look at. We break down why they're the right products and we break down what you can do with them as well to stand out on Amazon. So there's a lot covered in this video. I'm gonna cut right now to the recording with myself and Ali. So check this out and enjoy it. All right, so we're here on Amazon now. And as I mentioned, we're here today with research expert Ali from our team. So Ali, we are going to do some research, which is always exciting, right? Yep, exactly. Let's just start out. How do you start out the, the process, Ali? Let's go through that first, and then we can, we'll take people through there step by step as best we can. Okay, yep. Yeah. So the first thing to do is to find the top 100 in any category. So I'll just click on the three lines at the top left here. Let's find... Let's start with home garden and tools, home decor. Perfect. This is, you were mentioning Ali as well, it's like a product rich category, which is pretty cool. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So we just want to click into anything really, um, just to get the top 100. So bestsellers is always a good place to start. And we're on this page here. So if we scroll down, yep. we're going to come to the bestseller rank. So this one's in, this one's, 52 in home and kitchen. This wasn't the original category that we found ourselves in, but let's go through it anyway. So see one, see top 100 in this category. So now we're in the top 100 and now we can start looking at products. Okay. So when you're doing this, what do you think in your mind right now? So it's very rare that we're going to find any products in this top 100 because it's generally going to be more on the competitive side. Yeah. So we're going to find products that we can kind of segue off and find other products from. That's probably that. I think it's the biggest thing that we do that others don't do, right? We segue, we start to find product ideas based upon these, these winning products that we know are proven and we know are doing well in the category. Yep. And by the way, Ali, actually, because people are probably going to wonder this, what's the, what's the tool you're utilizing right now to show like the, the, the BSR and stuff like that, just, just while we're here? Um, so there's a few that you could use. I'm using... At the moment, DS Amazon Quick View. Perfect. There's also AMZ Seller Browser as well. Awesome. I'll put those links beneath the video as well. So everybody's got those as well. And we're looking for these kind of boring everyday items. Um, this might not be the one that we're looking for, but it could be a good place to segue off of. So what I've done is just opened it into a new tab up here. Yeah, we're going to have about a million. <laughs> well, when you're researching yourself, you're going to have about a million of those tabs open. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah. So here's another one. This is like a above ground winter pool cover. Who would have known that that would have been such a yeah top 100, right? I mean, that's it's selling. And again, these top 100, like we're in we're in Amazon.com right now, and like these are selling hundreds and hundreds a day uh, on the Amazon platform right now. So again, yeah, like who would have known something like that selling hundreds a day? It's it's just incredible. I've picked two up here. So let's uh, let's start with this one. Yep. Perfect. Okay, so let's analyze the market for this anyway. I have a feeling it's going to be very competitive anyway. Sure. We have to find the most generic new term for this product. So we could we could say a pop-up laundry laundry bag. Yep. Or possibly basket because that's basket. the first um, yeah. thing that Amazon's Exactly. So that's the thing people are typing into Amazon. It's the most appropriate key phrase that people are proven to have typed in. So that's great that we, well, we know that information straight away. And we want to go to all departments because yep. that's what the customer would be searching in. Okay. So only 950 results. Very so interesting. We can't rule this out based on the amount of results because we want to see anything in the region of less than 2000. So let's have a look at the market, the market size. So this is a similar one. This is more like a like a one piece. Yep. Ranked really high. Yep. And again, there the, the the thing people would have noticed as well. There was some sponsored ones which we kind of skipped down from really because we're looking for the organic. You know what's selling the best in this with this generic key phrase. Exactly. And we'll probably come across those sponsored as we're searching down the page anyway. So what are you thinking now? Just as a quick look at this, then what's going through your mind when you're checking this out as an opportunity? 
So I'm seeing a lot of low BSRs. So when I say low BSRs, um, we're looking for something under 20,000 in the parent category. Yep. Kitchen here. So most of these are well within range. So this market is quite big. I'd say it's, I'd say it's on the, the too big side. Yeah. Um, yep. And also there's a lot of products that, that are cosmetically different. So the customer has a lot to choose from. They'd be quite confused as to what to purchase. Yeah, so it's a confused market for sure. Uh, it's a big market, but again, that confusion leads to subjectivity, which leads to what should I buy, which leads to a lot of browsing and also a lot of, a lot of volume in a lot of different items, which is good and bad, right? Exactly. It would be very difficult for us to stand out, bring in something into this market and actually stand out in, amongst all of this confusion here. Yeah, absolutely. We can easily rule that out based on that. So what I would do is I would go back to the original listing. We can segue off this listing to yeah. find some other product, potential products. So first I'd look at the frequently bought together. And this is a mesh trash can. So what I'll do is open this in a new tab. Then I'll go down to sponsored products. Okay. And this is where I think I'd find the, the bulk of of the research it's going to be in the sponsored products so we can kind of skip over all the mesh laundry hampers because this is one that we've already ruled out so again perfect we're just cycling through we're looking here for what is different to what we've just found and it could could be interesting so yeah cool so we're seeing a few different different items in here and i suppose it's good as well Ali, to kind of get a feel for okay well, like what's you cycle through these almost first to kind of get a feel for different things you're seeing. Cause you can always go back then and start to open those new tabs like you are doing uh, as you, you kind of get a feel for, okay, what's related to this, that, that people are, cause the other thing is this, right? And it's a really important concept is like, these are sponsored products. Therefore people are actually paying money to have these products shown to other Amazon customers. So, so it's, so that's interesting in itself, right? That people are actually putting their money down to do that. Exactly. Yeah, I've opened this one because it's ever so different to the kind of, this is more of like a, a commercial use yeah. bag hamper. So we can have a look at that. Yep. And Ali, I can't help but notice that you're searching on a PC. I've ne I, it's not, you're the only man on our team who's got a PC right now. I know, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to, we're going to have to fix that for you as well. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. It's working for you though. Hey, so that's all good. Yeah got me this far <laughs> okay cool so you found a couple of ideas and you've been opening new tabs in case anybody can't see this there's new tabs been open at the top right now so we'll, and we'll go through those in just a second again a lot of very similar items that they're essentially you know they, they they're fulfilling the same need right so they're they're the same product they're just all that confusion that we mentioned right they're different versions colors styles and you're basically just jumping through all of those now because, you know, the confusion is very clear in this market. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and again, uh, we could say the, even though these are kind of inverted commas, like they're very average, you know, everyday items, there's, there's an inherent kind of like that, 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 that difference of what they look like. That's where the confusion is, number one. Um, not to say that they're like an exciting or sexy product, but <laughs> definitely they, you know, it, there's too much design in, in these really. Yeah, so we've exhausted this now. Um, there was a lot of the same style of items, so that's why I didn't open as many as I, I thought I would. One last thing we can do is open up this. So this is number one in pop-up laundry hampers and it's 50 in home and kitchen so it's safe to say that the next 50 in this category are going to be in range for us to look at now i know that it's pop-up uh, pop-up laundry hampers and this is what we're kind of already ruled out but there could yeah. potentially be something in there that is ever so slightly different to what we're yeah. seeing might not but there could be Yep. So again, it just pays to have a quick look. I mean, this has not taken us very long to get this far already. So that's good. So now we're out of range. So there's no point looking further on this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. And for anybody who's not part of Marketplace Superheroes programs right now, we all these in range, out range, all these rules are in our programs. We, we, we can't really jump through all the rules in this video today. Today, but just to say, Ali did mention uh, anything that's going to be above 20,000 in those parent categories, we're, we're ruling out. 
Uh, but again, all those rules are in our programs, just so you're aware, but we'll, we'll keep working. So this is a three bag laundry sorter. Well, that's the first thing that's coming up on the Amazon suggestion. So let's see, I'm not sure if this would be what people would type in to the search bar, but what we can do is to see if we're using the correct generic key term is to go over to merchant words. Yep. And copy and paste that in. Yep, so the Amazon search volume for this is 9,700 searches per month. So I'm happy with that. That just tells us that there's an average of 9,000 unique searches for this product on amazon.com. So I yep. could, I'm, I'm happy with that. Now let's have a look at the market. Perfect. This is in range. Yeah, interesting, eh? And the nice thing about this as well, Ali, that I think is interesting is it's a bulkier item, right? It's not, yeah. it's, it's, it's going to be bigger when it's even packed down into a box. And a lot of people are, they're going to avoid that simply because of the fact that it's, uh, it's bulkier, which is, which is good, you know, for, for people like ourselves who know that we can sell heavier items, we can sell bigger items. It's no big deal. Exactly. But my, uh, I think the market size is actually quite good. So we're not seeing ultra low BSRs here. We're seeing a, a variety of different ones, low ones and, and medium ones in range and a few that are out of range as well, like this one. Yep. But yep. my only concern is that there's a lot of the same product. So there's a lot of clones in this, in this market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, that's, a, that's an interesting thing too in that, we, we talk about this as well in the program, like you have the, the kind of the genesis of the idea, right? So, so what's the underlying idea here? Well, it's a, it's a mobile laundry unit. So again, that's the other side of it too. Like, okay, maybe this, this product, the three bag or four bag, whatever, maybe we find they're, they're too competitive. But again, you now know a little bit more about these types of products that these, these mobile laundry type units are something that sell on Amazon. So maybe the three or four bag isn't right, but maybe you can start to do something with that information. You can start to try find different types of products, et cetera. So, so we, this may not be right for us now, but the point entirely is you're actually learning what sells on Amazon now, literally by looking at what's working. And that's a huge thing rather than just using some random tool to just tell you, oh yeah, do this, don't do that. You know, that's not a good way to be, to be learning how to fish. But anyway, let's keep going, Ali. Exactly. So here we have a above ground pool cover. So have a look at the market for this. Yep. So I think, so you've got the above ground. I'm not going to put in pool cover because there's so many different, there's different types of pools. So a customer that's looking for a cover for their above ground kind of hot tub style uh, pool, they're not going to be looking for one that's, you know, like a, for an Olympic size swimming pool. So yeah. I think above ground, Okay, 4,000 results. This isn't ideal, but we can't rule it out based on that at all. So um, we're going to have to see something a bit special for us to keep, to keep us interested. So yeah, these two are sponsored, so we're going to skip over those. Okay, so we have one in range here, another yeah. one. Wow, this, this is already insane. <laughs> this Who is a huge known? market. <laughs> Who would have known this would, have be, this would be so popular? Yeah, but again, I suppose where we, where we live in the world, definitely not going to be as popular, but in the States, <laughs> clearly huge market. Yeah. Okay, so what I also like to do, so I've already ruled this out, but I, I like to scan through the page to see if there's anything else that could potentially, we can, we can do like a parallel search off. So yeah, yeah. Uh, we have this product here, which are swimming, cover, uh, swimming pool cover clips. So I'm going to open that into a new tab. We yep. can look at that afterwards. Just see swim line there. Anybody who's in the course <laughs> knows a lot about swim line. <laughs> <laughs> Not <Yeah>. lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we can you've close been, this down. You've, you've uh, been studying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. So, so again, this is cool. Like we, we found some new potential ideas uh, again. And again, just to, for anybody watching as well, like we've really just been basing a lot of this off the top 100 that, that Ali started with. So, so again, we will show you guys as two specific examples of products that we have found by going deeper and deeper with the process. And we will do that briefly before the video ends, but this is just to show you, this is the initial stage of gathering in Intel and markets and gathering ideas in markets, but, but keep going Ali. So what I've done is just opened up these subcategories here. Yep. I found off the main page of that pool cover. 
And again, the, the process continues. We're looking for different products, different ideas that we can start to do more searches on. Okay, we have a water tube or winter pool cover. I don't know what, yeah. this, but we can have a look at it. Absolutely. Perfect. Lots and lots of different products here. I look at that one, 138 bucks. Wow. Yeah. And so again, there's other things you're looking at, Ali, like you're kind of automatically ruling out some stuff based upon the fact that you've already seen it before. Uh, it, it might have an item specific to avoid and that like you've got this in your brain now, but, but when people start, they usually, you would have had like a list of these things and you're kind of, you're checking these off in your mind as you're looking down through these, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I would have looked yeah. at the market previously as well and I, I could already... I could already say that the market's too saturated or too much competition or too much confusion. Yes. And again, that's another side of gathering the intel that we're showing everybody today that you just know then, okay, well, that three or four uh, bag, you know, laundry unit, you, you now know after doing research on it. If I see that again, I'm going to kind of ignore that now or whatever, because you just know based on previous research, that's not something that you're going to move forward with. And that's, that's the value of actually understanding the markets, you know? Exactly. Yeah, so we'll just open one or two others of these, Ali, and we'll kind of yep. just do what you did, and then we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at the other ones that you found, and we'll chat a little bit about how you found them at a very high level, just so people can see, look, when you go through this process that we're showing you more and more, uh, and you really dive down deeper into the BSRs, these are the kinds of items that people will find. But yep, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but we'll, do, we'll go through the process with these first. All right, yeah, that's we'll interesting. Have that. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so let's have a look at these. And I think as well, it is important to sort of say that as, as a side point as well, Ali, none of these are products that you're going to get particularly excited about, you know, <laughs> passionate about, right? Like a, like a ladder to get into something. I, yeah. I don't think I, I could get too excited about that, right? And that's a good thing. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and the main thing is that there's demand for it and not exactly. too much competition, hopefully. So. Absolutely. This is a animal saving Let's say escape ramp. Escape ramp. Well, again, I've never in my life <laughs> heard of something like this. You know, it's it's so interesting. Yeah, escape ramp. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's it, Jim. And it's in the suggestion. So people yeah. are typing this in. 124 results. So that's very interesting straight yeah. away. And look at these, these, like the images are like that image on, on the, the frog log one there is probably the best one, but they're all doing the same kind of thing yeah. but that the genesis of that idea is really interesting people buy these pool ramps but they're all using the same frog image so there's opportunity here straight away exactly wow this is really interesting actually but so and again the reason some of these are way out of range like the images are awful they suck like you know they're just really poor yeah you can come in here and do this one really right so again that's something we're looking at straight away now in our minds we're saying what could we do to improve something like this better imagery yes better you know better better titles absolutely like these are all potentials so this is a really interesting one yeah just looking at this um listing here i mean there's 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 loads of ways to improve this there's, it's not really keyword rich it's quite a short exactly. title so it's not being exposed as much as it could be yeah that's probably it's probably been sold on amazon for a little while now yeah. there wasn't that many um there wasn't that many sponsored results in this either right i don't no, really see i mean it's just this one up here yeah, so it's open for you to come in with some better PPC on the Amazon platform and really compete here. And also, no one's really doing anything extra. Like, they're not adding in any little bonus items. They're not, not doing anything with the, with the product either. They're just selling what everybody else is selling. So I think that's a really interesting one. Exactly. So cool. yeah, I'd look further at this. Definitely. That's awesome. So we found something interesting, and, and it yeah. only took us a few <laughs> minutes. So that's cool. Really cool. So, okay. So let's do a quick job on this one, Ali. Let's finish off here, and then we'll take a look at those, those two product ideas as well that we promised at the start of the video. Yep, sure. So uh, this one's uh, above ground pool steps. Uh, I'd say it's a yeah, pool steps floor pad, I guess. Uh, we could always verify this on merchant words. Let's see. 316 results. Yep. This is in range. There's no sponsored products on this there's, page. Well. Yeah, exactly. And they're so bad. Like, look at these yeah. listings. They're just awful. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. These are really, <laughs> some of these are terrible. <laughs> and the ones that are out of range, again, it's like you, you, you kind of have to understand, you have to look at it and say, well, of course they're out of range because they're just poor. And again, like straight away, there's more ideas that you just, 
I just, you, you slip past, but like there's the, yeah. the slip thing for, for the staircase. I think it was up yeah. a little bit more there. Um, yeah. as well, there's that one you have. And so there's, there's, there's more and more ideas coming from this and it just, it goes on and on. That one there, yeah, was the yeah. three, nine, four, seven, like that. That would probably be, look interesting. Would need more research based upon what we're doing. So, so this is great, Ali. I mean, I, I think that we've got enough here for everybody to understand the process that we're looking at, why we're doing things the way we're doing. So we're, we're going to stop for one second. We're going to cut over and find those two product ideas now. Yep, sounds good. Okay, Ali, so we promised two bonus product ideas and just explain kind of why we arrived at these, why they're interesting, um, and also what we might do with them. So everybody, you can see the first one. So Ali, why is this interesting? So this is a carboy brush. I didn't even know what a carboy was before I <laughs> <laughs> researched this. Um, so this is yeah, just a brush for cleaning the inside of this water tank here. The first thing that, that, that kind of appealed to me was the listing quality. I mean, there's only one photo here. Yeah. I mean, this is a horrible listing. Yeah. No offense to the no, cost design. <laughs> <Very good. laughs> but you're right. It is, it is a very poor listing. It's not yeah. good. And also the price point for something like quite, I guess it would be, it would be quite long, but it's quite a light item. Um, so shipping these over would be very cost effective, but that price point is really good. And that's what I was looking at. And it's non FBA as well, which is really huge. You know, yeah. it's merchant fulfilled by the, by that company there. So again, like we can move in an FBA enabled listing, a better listing, more images, you know, better offer. All of a sudden this is starting to really, you know, get a lot better and in, in, in our favor. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, looking at the at the market for this as well. Yeah, uh, let's do that. Brush at the top. Um, only two hundred and eight results. Yeah, that's brilliant. So that, that's amazing. Um, there are other yeah. items that are similar to this, but yeah, I wouldn't call them the same item. That I mean, this is. Yeah, I think as well that this this carboy market as well as we've learned about it is that it's 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 sort of a specialist market as well. It's a niche market. Yeah. And so people are actually they're they're into brewing, they're into that kind of thing. So clearly like the that that person would would be looking for this specific product, a carboy cleaner. They they would actually search that on Amazon. Therefore, you know the, the other ones that you're looking at almost aren't even the same product, which is, which is really good. And, you know, because it's that niche product, it, that's where I think it commands the higher price point. So it's got a, it's got a lot going for it here, Ali. And it's only got a very small number of search results. So it's well within range and I rule there as well. Exactly. That's cool. Okay. I like that one. And again, we could do something with that. We could add in a uh, little bonus items. We could add in, you know, replacement head cleaner. I mean, there's so many things yeah. we could consider with it. And I think as well, it would be important to spend time finding the right suppliers to and really getting in the samples and making sure that these look good and they're good quality as well. And another thing, a bonus point for everybody listening, we would check the reviews of these as well, just to see what people like, what they don't like. We won't do it right now because it'll kind of take us a lot longer, but that's what we would do to identify the things we need to test when we bring this sample in as well. So that's, that's cool. So that's Carboy Cleaner. I like it, Ali. And let's get on to the next one. Yeah. So the next one is a mesh air conditioner cover. Very cool. Yeah. Nice price point. Exactly. That's, that's what warmed me to this in the first place. Great price point. And it's something that could be folded flat and packaged. It's not yeah. going to be sold like at, at its full length. That's what warmed me to this. Yeah. And again, the listing's not bad here, but again, it's a bit, you know, it's got the whole uh, all caps and everything, yeah. which has, I'm sure at some point I reckon Amazon are still are going to get rid of that. So again, like we could just make our simpler, uh, more specific. And I think as well, the title is, is, is pretty good, but the, the AC Defender, I'm guessing, maybe that's, it looks like it's probably a keyword in this market, but I think we could do a better job of that. What, what do you think? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I think we could really improve these photos as well. Yeah, the poor. Like, then they're not looking so good. Yeah, it actually looks, it look, makes it look cheap, doesn't it? You know, yeah, those images. it looks a bit homemade. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Fully yeah. Agree. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah, because they're called sturdy covers, and maybe they are sturdy, but they look a little cheap. So, yeah, uh, yeah I mean, again, if, if you zoom in on those as well, like, I mean, you can just it doesn't do anything for it because it just doesn't look right. No. And I think that's a good example of lifestyle images gone wrong as well. A little bit of, you know, there's a big obsession on those, but at the end of the day, I think better images, better quality, better quality images anyway, would, would really help. And even this, like you can just see the bad edit 
of, yeah. uh, you know, it's, it just looks, as you say, look gaudy, it looks cheap and it's $50. Like, so it's not a, it's not a cheap item. You want it to look good. You want people to feel like it's good quality too. Exactly. Yeah. So let's have a look at the market for this. So only 354 search results. Yeah. But what I liked about this was that there are very few full covers. Most, the majority of these are just like a kind of topper. See, this I, is a I think the mesh, uh, sort of the mesh part looks important too, to enable heat to get out. I think those full covers without the mesh is probably a, a bad thing in this market yeah. too, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like these ones. Yeah. And again, it being air conditioning, it being people, you know, it's, it's for their home. There's probably an opportunity for like a little cleaning brush. If leaves get into the air conditioning unit or something like yeah, that, you can start exactly. thinking like that way. Right. And definitely. Yeah. And um, I know it's a bit of a, a kind of cop out in terms of bonus, but like a carrying case for this. Yeah, <laughs> and that, that, it could be, it could actually be good for this product in fairness yeah. because you're, you're storing it away and things like that. So yeah, it is a cop out, but it could be good. Yeah, I generally like to stay away from like a carrying case because it's very easy to, for a competitor to kind of copy that. But yes. um, in this case, I think it could work. Yep, I agree. And I think the brush is a good idea. I like that idea uh, that I, through in here i think that could be an interesting little yeah. bonus because those little brushes they can they can come in for i mean cents you know they're not they're not that expensive yeah. and the mock kind of brush you get cool okay so they're the two bonuses i really like two of those i love the fact the search results are low i love the boring nature of the products that's really good so great job ali i really appreciate you jumping on today and bringing us through your process of finding product ideas it was cool we found a few cool ideas and we gave these two bonus items. So I think it's a job well done. Thanks for coming on. And again, Ali's in our community. He's our research expert. And you know, this is the kind of stuff we do all the time in Marketplace Superheroes. So hope you enjoyed the video. And again, thanks for coming on today, Ali. Thank you, Stephen. So hope you enjoyed the video. We covered a lot. As I know, you probably were clicking along and maybe doing some product research at the same time. If you weren't, I would advise you to go back and check out the video again and follow along step by step with yourself and your own browser. A couple of things to do right now. Number one, please like this video. It always helps us. Secondly, please subscribe to the channel as well. And thirdly, I did thirdly a second ago, but that's fine. Please, thirdly as well, leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought. What did you learn from the video? What was there any epiphanies or any realizations today about finding products on Amazon without software that you've realized? It really helps us if you do all of those things because we love making these videos. We love realizing how we can serve you better as well. So please give us a comment and subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon. And finally, please also take advantage of some free training from us. The way to do that is very simple. Number one, down to the description underneath this video, there is a link there. It'll bring you back to our website and you can just put in your best email address and we will send you free training on how to get your own Amazon business up and running from scratch. Also, that same link is down in the pinned comment. So either one of those is gonna get you there and I look forward to working with you in the future. So like, subscribe, comment, please. See you in the next one.